Hey, in fact, it is the 12th of March, 2019. And uh, you remember last week, the Israeli moon lander, and then there was the actual uh, video that they made about in the beginning. Remember this? Let me see if I can get the sound here for you. No, nope, no sound, I guess. For some odd reason. Anyway, in the beginning, the three fathers. Remember that? Actually, we don't have to go through this, but you, you, you just can't. I was only an idea, a dream, a fantasy. I was born in a bar to three fathers. I mean seriously and they blocked this video they put an age restriction on it for me <laughs> so i've been kind of watching their little uh tweets you know and this this just kills me beyond anything seriously they just put this out three hours ago 309 or six hours ago whatever they love their threes and their nines. Remember, they released the last little report at 639. And you can bounce over to their other Israeli space agency uh, Twitter site, too. And you find the same stuff. I mean, you just go through these and you check them out. Look at this one. 3.33 a.m. I'm digressing. They tweeted this today. Okay, this guy right here is supposed to be the founder of Space IL, the the people who who put this whole miraculous uh, project together, this amazing feat of human ingenuity, right? And this guy is supposed to be the founder. Now, I want you to just observe something here. Actually, a few things. Uh, the video length is is telling because that is the same exact number that two three two. That we talked about the last time remember the h232 the chains the bands 246 the manacles the chains and these people don't even know they're in chains that's the thing but the real funny part about this and it's not even funny this is this is the level of in your face ridiculousness that they really truly and honestly believe that they are dealing with a world of brain dead child level morons and that's how they treat you okay and those of us who are seeing this ridiculousness we're gonna be the next bad guys we're, we're the bullies because we don't believe that this guy the founder of space il is sitting here in apparently a living room at a table a coffee table with children's toys all over it you just have to wrap your mind around this what this is saying they're literally he's literally sitting at this table with children's toys okay now I'm definitely gonna link this he's showing you children's toys okay he's got all the magic markers ready to draw pictures with and everything and this this okay you understand what you're seeing here he is using magic markers and construction paper to illustrate how they are sending this uh bearish sheet to the moon you, you you cannot make this up in a thousand million years this is their official youtube and twitter He's showing you with crayons how they achieve this miraculous feat. But if you'll notice, it looks stunningly and ridiculously a lot like, like an eye. You know, kind of like, like that eye. I'm just saying. Let's go on. He continues to just tell the people how they're using gravity, you know, that theory, to you know, shoot this spacecraft 200 and some odd thousand miles. And then he uses another illustration with his crayons. And what do we have here? Well, if you were to ask me, which you didn't, but I'm going to tell you anyway, it looks a lot to me like an unfinished pyramid. That's just what it looks like to me. Let's continue. 
So he's showing you in their 232 minute video uh, the very scientific method in which they use to achieve this incredible feat. And while we're watching, did you know that Israel is also the eighth largest uh, exporter of military hardware and weaponry? And now he's explaining how it pushes like, oh, that's supposed to be a swing. And where do you see when he, when he explains even in more detail here towards the end? Here we go. That's that's where I don't know where something is. But they he needs to explain to us how they have to go around the earth several times. I'm going to try and help you out here so you don't have to suffer through the whole thing. He's about to show you the real important stuff now. Now remember, we're looking at the Eye of Horus. Whoop. The Eye of Horus and an unfinished pyramid. Okay? Come on there, young fella. Let's finish this deal up. Here we go. He's going to finish it now. Oh, wait a minute. There, There's the second loop. He's explaining in very, very detailed scientific manners here. Whoop. And that completes everything. Now it goes from the Eye of Horus to a six, six, six. Because that's what it is. Whether this man is aware of this or not, and of course they got the little phallic symbol laying there. He's drawing out this symbolism because that's the spirit that's running this whole thing. That's the whole purpose, is to deceive the world. And they're doing a pretty good job. But God is revealing everything for those who truly seek and love the truth. That's the only way you'll ever see these things. You need the Spirit of God, and it's only attainable through Jesus Christ. Ask Him to show you the truth, sincerely and humbly, and put away all this foolishness that you've been taught all your life. That's the key. Yeah. Soon he met the rest of his family. We should go through this again, but they'll probably ban me again. Look at that. Do you see that? It looks like a crown, doesn't it? Amazing, right there, right there too. Just amazing what we will believe as human beings because we want to believe people. We we inherently want good and we want peace and we want to be treated well. But you got to understand there's a spiritual war that will in fact devour your eternal soul if you don't become aware of it soon. Because time's running out. This is all manifesting before your eyes. And it's going to get crazy. So seek Jesus. Okay? Peace and grace to you all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 